frustrating way for the for the go-ahead run to get in there. Jonathan's been so steady at short this year. Yeah, it was a you know it was one of them sinking line drives. That's you know it was a, it was not as easy as just a you know straight at your line drive. It was kind of top spin pretty hard. So a little bit it was just a weird ball that was hit and um, really wasn't able to make the play. Jeremy walked out of a huge jam there in the ninth inning. He's been pretty reliable too this year. What was different about him to start off the inning? Um, you know, I don't. I mean, it was just the, the walk. You know, the walk to start off the inning hurt him. Um, he did. You know, the next hit was a Flores just kind of tapped the basically tapped the ball through the hole. Um, you know, and then he another guy had took a good swing, and then then he made great pitches. So he put up a zero. I mean, I don't. I think the walk is the is the thing probably that he would have liked to uh, to have back. But other than that, I, I thought he thought he pitched well. They did a job with your offense. They started with Harvey and limited the hit some of the guys on base. Yeah, we we didn't have many opportunities. Harvey was, you know, he he was really good. Um, you know, we, we had you know, I mean, we had three hits all night, so we obviously didn't. Didn't have many opportunities. Um, you know, we started. We got some opportunities off. The, the big opportunity was off Henderson with some walks, really, caused by some walks. But we weren't able to take take advantage of it. Felt like Garrett was matching Harvey uh, in his first six, seven innings. He, he, he matched him for sure. I mean, he pitched. He pitched very, very well. I mean, he was, uh, and he's. You know, he's been. You know, a big part of. The, our pitch, you know, our pitching really improving. Um, he's gone out there and, and done his job really every single time out. So he's been a big key for us for sure. He continues to do a really good job, really good job. Craig, can you take us through your thought process on the uh, the two replay situations? The first one, I think you were looking for the when you went out there, you were looking for the block in the plate, right? Well, I was I was looking for clarification first whether they um, whether they looked at. When they when the when they overturned the call, did they look at whether or not he was blocking the plate? Um, and Larry Van Orl came back and said, "We have looked at the play in its entirety," which I took to meant that he um, looked at he was blocking at the plate. So um, that's why that's why I, I didn't I didn't challenge. And then with uh... the, the other play was just. Um, you know, we challenged that there wasn't much shot at winning that one for sure. I mean, he once the umpire, you know, flows, was hand was moving. He did he did get pushed off a little bit. There's no question. That's the umpire's judgment. It's not. It's not under review. In the end, there, there's from in my end, there's no harm challenging that though. That's tough one to overturn, Craig. When as you said, it's kind of simultaneous when his hands coming off the bag, and you feel like he's also maybe getting. The, the push is not under review, though. Yeah, if if they, if they the umpire's got to say right away where they pushed it, that's not part. They can't review that. But if they see that in the replay, they can. No. Oh, okay. 